India is one of the most diverse lands in the world. It has 28 states and 8 union territories, each with its own unique culture, history and sights to offer. From the Himalayan peaks in the north to the serene beaches of the south, as you travel across India, you will be greeted by diverse views, histories, adventures and architectures. Here are some of our top picks from across India. Dal Lake Kashmir Almost every other destination in Kashmir seems like paradise. However, the view of snow-clad mountains as you take a shikara ride in the serene Dal Lake is unmatchable. During July and August, the lake is filled with fully bloomed lotus flowers and during peak winter months, the lake becomes frozen. Kalpa Kinor Kinor in Himachal Pradesh is often known as the land of fairy tales and folk tales. Situated at the height of 2758 meter above sea level, Kalpa is a small town in Kinor that is flanked by the Kinar Kalash range. The mountains are snow-capped throughout the year and by November the entire town is covered in white and is a sight to behold. Golden Temple Amritsar the most important pilgrimage site in the world among Sikhs, the Golden Temple is also considered the most peaceful one across India. While every night at the temple looks no short of gorgeous, you must visit it during Guru Purab. The temple is beautified with diyas, lights and firecrackers that make the site a picturesque one. Tugnath Trek Rudra Prayag Home to the highest Shiva temple in the world, the Tugnath trek will give you views from a whopping height of 11,385 feet. From the trail, you can enjoy views of peaks like Chokhamba, Chandrashila and Nanda Devi up close. Morni Hills, Panchkula Morni is the only hill station in Haryana. It is situated in the lower reaches of the Shivalik range. With its cool climb, beautiful natural vistas and innumerable opportunities for trekking, rock climbing and other adventure sports, Morni Hills is an ideal place for nature and adventure lovers. Jama Masjid, Old Delhi Experience Delhi's old world charm at Jama Masjid, the largest mosque in India. It was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan between 1650 and 1656. The masjid stands tall against the backdrop of Old Delhi and it is a must visit during sunrise and sunset. Kumbalgar Fort, Rajasthan Kumbalgar Fort is the birthplace of Mewar's legendary king Maharana Pratap. Cradled in the Aravli Ranges, the fort was built in the 15th century AD by Rana Kumb. The massive fort wall stretches some 36 km with a width enough to take 8 horses abreast and is often called the Great Wall of India. Taj Mahal, Agra Built in Agra between 1631 and 1648, the Taj Mahal is one of the jewels of architecture in India and is a universally admired masterpiece. However, for a better view of the marvel, take a boat ride over the Yamuna. You can also visit the monument on full moon nights for an absolutely breathtaking view. Mandar Hill, Bihar Mandar Parvat is a small 700 feet high hill that offers majestic views. The hill also holds significance in Indian mythology as the location is mentioned in Skand Purana. You can find many rare sculptures of Lord Shiva, Kamdhenu and Vara scattered around the hill. These are believed to be of the 12th century. Run of Kutch, Gujarat The largest salt desert in the world, the Run of Kutch is a photographer's delight for its surreal landscapes. The white ground looks resplendent against the blue sky and the two almost seem to meet at the horizon. While you are in Kutch, you must visit the Indian Wild Ass Sanctuary, which is one of the last places on earth where these animals can be found. Sunrise Point Mahabaleshwar 
located near Mumbai, Mahabaleshwar is a plateau surrounded by hills. The sunrise point within the area is considered best for a panoramic view of Mahabaleshwar's stunning landscape. This place is ideal if you're a hiking enthusiast. Take a walk to the top of the hill and enjoy the view. Gandhi Konda, Andhra Pradesh. Gandhi Konda is also known as the Grand Canyon of India and for good reason. The gorge is formed between Eramala ranges and the crystal clear Penna River meanders right through the middle. Kanha National Park, Madhya Pradesh. Kanha National Park is nestled in the Maikal range of Satpuras in Madhya Pradesh. The landscapes and the surrounding meadows offer magnanimous sightseeing experiences for nature lovers. Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book was largely based on the woodlands of Kanha. Netarhat, Jharkhand Netarhat is also referred to as the Queen of Chota Nagpur Plateau. It is most popular among tourists for its sunrises and sunsets during the summer months. The jungle-covered hill station Netarhat is the coolest place in Jharkhand for sure. Darjeeling, West Bengal Darjeeling is amongst one of the most significant and planned hill resorts of West Bengal, which is located at a height of 2,134 meters. Nestled among the rolling mountains with the glistening Mount Kenchenjunga towering over the sky, Darjeeling is also known as the Queen of the Hills. The famous toy train ride in Darjeeling Himalayan Railway is among the must-dos of this town. Guru Dongmar Lake, North Sikkim Guru Dongmar Lake is the second highest lake in India that lies at a height of 17,800 feet. While the lake looks a gorgeous sapphire blue through most of the year, you will find it completely frozen during the winter months. Ungot River, Dokhi Probably the cleanest river in the country, a boat ride over the Umgot River is one of the most stunning experiences that Meghalaya offers. You can see till the surface of the river, making it a view that you cannot get enough of. Majuli River Island, Brahmaputra, Assam This is India's first river island district and is located in the Brahmaputra. Taking you to a paradise enveloped in the warmth of nature, Majuli River is a quiet town that you will love. Don't forget to take a boat ride in the river and watch a colourful sunset. Champhai, Mizoram With the splendid heart-shaped Reedil Lake at its centre and the majestic Myanmar hills in the backdrop, Champhai looks like a little piece of heaven. Its colourful tribal traditions coupled with romantic ruins, ancient relics and monuments make Champhai even more serene and pristine. Loktak Lake Moirang, Manipur Loktak Lake, the largest natural freshwater lake in India, is famous for the Fumdi floating over it. This characteristic feature of the lake makes it one of the most unique places that you must visit in India. Located on this Fumdi, Kebul Lamjao National Park is the only floating national park in the world. Neer Mahal, Tripura Renowned as the largest lake palace in the country, Neer Mahal is situated in the middle of the pristine Rudra Sagar Lake. This is the only palace of its kind in all of Northeast India and is a must visit if you are in Tripura. Zuko Valley, Nagaland Located on the border of Nagaland and Manipur, Zuko Valley is a fairly unexplored, mesmerizing valley that represents the endless beauty of the Northeast. You can visit the valley for stunning sunset views, verdant hills and unique plant species. Sela Pass Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh this high-altitude mountain pass is one of the very few in India that remains open even during winter in spite of receiving heavy snowfall. The pass also features a lake that looks enchanting against misty mountains. Kotumsar Cave, Jagdalpur, Chhattisgarh 
millions of years ago, this underground cave was formed naturally in Kanger Valley National Park. You can find various stalactite and stalagmite formations that are lined on the walls along with slippery patches. Mukteshwar Temple, Old Town Bhuvneshwar, Odisha. This is a 10th century Shiva temple that is considered a gem of Odisha architecture. This is the earliest known work from the Soma Vamshi period and thus a delight to visit. Head to Mukteshwar Temple for an authentic experience of Odisha. Golconda Fort Hyderabad, Telangana As the name suggests, Golconda Fort is a round-shaped citadel fort that was earlier the capital of a medieval sultanate. You will be surprised to know that the region has produced some of the world's most famous diamonds like the Kohinoor, the Blue Hope, the Pink Dadia e Noor, etc. Climb to the top of the fort and enjoy the city's view from a vantage point. Hampi, Karnataka The group of monuments at Hampi has been classified as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. This historic town covers an area of 29 square kilometer and is also the world's largest open air museum. While you are in Hampi, do not miss to visit Karnataka's megalithic site Hir Benakal. Pamban Bridge, Tamil Nadu. This is an iconic bridge that connects the town of Mandapan in mainland India with Rameshwaram and Pamban Island. It is also considered as the most dangerous bridge in India. You will be surprised to know that part of the train bridge opens up like a gate in order to give way to ships. You can take a drive on the bridge to see a gorgeous view of the endless blue sea. Palalum Beach, Goa. Located in South Goa, Palalum Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches of Goa. This semi-circular beach is popular among tourists for its picturesque natural beauty and uncanny party vibes. If you have a thirst for adventure and want to spend your time in leisure, Palolim is an ideal choice. Alapi, Kerala. Alapi, the Venice of the East is a backwaters district situated on the Lakadive Sea. Alapi is the ideal place to traverse across the backwaters. The houseboat experience through the canals and lagoons surrounded by thousands of palm trees is one of its kind. Agatti Island, Lakshadweep. One of the most scintillating landing strips in India, approaching Agatti is a very interesting experience. Landing on a tiny strip in the middle of the Indian Ocean makes it an exciting beginning to a vacation in Lakshadweep. Neel Island, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The islands located in the Arabian Sea are famed for pristine beaches and paradise-like views. While most tourist spots are stunning, Neel Island is one place that you must head to. The interesting formations that the surrounding hills make on the beach add a dramatic character to the island, making it a gorgeous sight to behold. View Fort Daman and Diu Diu Fort is an excellent example of the Portuguese architecture style. It was built in 1535 after a defense alliance forged by Bahadur Shah, the Sultan of Gujarat, and the Portuguese when Humayu attempted to annex this territory. The fort boasts of a magnificent view of the sea. Somoriri, Ladakh. Somoriri, located at an altitude of 14,836 feet, is one of the most beautiful, calm and sacred high-altitude lakes of India. Somoriri attracts a range of wildlife, including migratory birds, marmots and rarely the Tibetan wolves. Oroville, Puducherry Oroville is an experimental township that was founded in 1968. It is a universal town where men and women of any country can live together to progress harmony and realize human unity. The Matri Mandir, which is the middle of the town, symbolizes the divine's answer to people's aspiration for perfection. Sukhna Lake, Chandigarh Stretching 3 kilometers long, Sukhna Lake is encompassed with sparkling water, boats and serves as the home for several migratory birds including the Siberian duck and the crane. 
Strolling across the waterfronts of the lake and experiencing the beautiful sunset is a delightful experience for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with fellow travelers. Subscribe to our channel for more breathtaking videos about India.